Hello, and welcome to iSCSI on OpenSUSE 15.2. Uh, this is all controlled through GAST. I'm doing this all command line. So, first go to GAST. Next, you need to install the GAST iSCSI LIO server by going to software software management I am currently not on the internet so I'm going to skip these loads because I already have the software installed but if you uh, search on either uh, iSCSI target Yast. I will type in target as my search and as you can see this is the software that would not have been installed you need to install Yast iSCSI LIO server. Once you do that Yast will have a nice uh, control panel for configuring your iSCSI. I will cancel out of here and now go to network services and now I have the iSCSI LIO target so I'm going to press enter on that and mine is already configured so you'll get an idea what you can do on the first page you basically can tell it what you want to do after making a configuration I said restart uh, and what to do after boot I want this to start on boot automatically so I don't have to start the service manually the other thing I had to select is on the firewall options to open the ports on the firewall once I did that I came to the global tab and I left this alone I am not doing any authentication on discovery and then I went to targets I added this target basically when you do I'm gonna do alt a it gives you it builds a name a demo name basically you can change if you need to builds the identifier build support group and then the second you would add your LUNs so I'm going to cancel this since I already have it I will now show you my settings so I changed my target to be uh, the date and then I changed uh, I wonder why it's not showing the whole thing here but uh, I basically changed the name to com.demo.os 15 my identifier I made it real simple is 3000 you can leave all the defaults um, you can bind to a specific IP on your server so you can have a uh, a secure non you know routable uh, iSCSI network between your servers um, I and this uh, demo I only I'm binding to all IP addresses which is the easiest and um, it's fine for being at home right uh, and then there's my LUN so I'm sharing out uh, SDB and SDC drives um, when you add a LUN which I'm going to do with an alt a um, by default it'll auto generate a uh, LUN number and it will also auto generate the name so the only thing you need to do is really is the LUN path so here I could do like SDE if I had another drive and let it just hit OK or alt O and uh, basically it would show up down here exactly how you see it. now that I'm sharing those two drives I just have to hit next and verify everything there looks good and then finish and that's it now those drives are shared so you can go to another machine and use the iSCSI client uh, if it's another SUSE machine you would just do yes yes iSCSI client is the shortcut and you would just point to the discovery IP of this server and 
um, tell it to mount the drives and you're good to go. So that's it. Quick little uh, introduction to making your own iSCSI server. Thank you for watching.